So, selection of mixing equipment. What are the parameters that we need to consider while selecting a mixing equipment? And this is this is you know kind of applicable across board, not just to the refractory industry, but to the chemical, food, pharmaceutical, all industries. So, uh, first important thing is to understand the material characteristics. What material characteristics? We will certainly look at that. Then the process setup. Okay, whether it's a batch process, the continuous process. What are the process conditions? The mixer operating parameters. Okay. When you talk about the mixer operating parameters, you talk about you know, what should be the agitator speed, whether your you know, pan is rotating or a pan is stationary, what would be the power consumption? Mixing accuracy. Okay. Uh, so your mixers, you know, there are different kinds of mixers meant for different kinds of applications. And not every application demands that you know the mix should be 99% homogeneous. In certain cases, a 95% mixing accuracy is also good enough. So at that time, you need to make a choice for a mixer which gives you, you know, the uh, accuracy that you require. You know, investing uh, heavily on a mixer, you know, just to get a 99% purity when when 95 is good enough, well, that's not a wise thing to be doing. It will eventually end up, you know. Uh, increasing your product costing. Mix of cleanability. Now, when it comes to applications such as pharmaceutical applications or food applications, the mix of cleanability is a very important consideration. And you should be able to easily clean the mixer. Okay. Above all, uh, equipment cost. You know, uh, these mixers can get very expensive. And uh, to be able to specify the right mixer for your application, that will help you save